Well, it has been quite some time, hasn't it? We're back in Sorodiel with our Agonian hero sitting in the uh, formerly haunted mansion in Anvil. And you might ask, why do we return? We have been to Skyrim, we have been to several other countries of Tamriel and the Elder Scrolls Online, of course, but why do we get back to Oblivion? That is a good question indeed, and you might have already heard the answer, because in the 144 episodes which you had in Oblivion, the Let's Play, I mentioned a modification from time to time, which I always wanted to play in this particular Let's Play, but never did, for reasons I actually can't recall. But today is actually the day, or the following days are actually the days we're going to do that, because this little mini-series of a Let's Play is um, dedicated to that mod. And I'm happy that we can finally play it, because I have been looking forward to that quite some time. And I hope you'll enjoy. And I think, why don't we just get up and head a little bit out and have a look around again. It's been some time. And just have a look at how the current state of being is. We're quite fast, aren't we? So this is the exact same safe game. We have left with that. We have actually left in the um, main city, which... Uh, what, what was the name again? It was the uh, Imperial City, of course. It's been some time, indeed. Um, I just went back to Anvil, to our mansion, because it's our home base, if you want to call it like that. And just for your information, I don't have much mods installed. Actually, we are uh, mod with the quests in it is the only one which I have activated right now because it's just a little mini let's play series and all the mods were out from a main let's play so I thought putting them back in would be quite a bit of work and you know I think we just enjoy oblivion for these few episodes as beautiful as it was when it released back in 2006 it's been really some time and it's unbelievable and let's hope it had worked out just as I wanted to, so we should get to a blacksmith first. Of course, this Let's Play is going to be a little bit longer than just one or two episodes, because this mod is quite extensive, expensive, both actually, because it has a lot to offer. And let's see how long we're going to spend some more time here in Oblivion. Going into that Oblivion gate was an impressive feat of daring do. I salute you. Thank you, Beryl. So let me. I can fix whatever you break. Stuff repair. Please don't tell me we have weapons. I have it all. How may I help you? Is that what we have in terms of gold? Oh my dear God. Well, I sort of remember how difficult it was to get some money here in Oblivion, but was it really that difficult? Oh my gosh, we have some work to do. Well, I thought that we could at least get our armor repaired, but as it seems we don't have the money to. Sort of a crusader. Oh man. Stuff of vulnerability. Sure, got a Manka, Manka Camoran staff. Oh yeah, man. I'd like to keep those, but I'm not sure if we can, because if we have no money left, which actually surprises me. We have saved a freaking world, I and mean, no one is able to hand us some money for, you know, just living a hero's life? Apparently not. Although, I kind of wish so. Mm, that's bad. We at least have repair hammers, but I don't know. <clears throat> no, whoops. But I don't know um, how much... Or to what extent we can repair our stuff. I right. can fix whatever you... Wow, that's expensive. Well, there are a few things broken. I think we're gonna need to at least repair them a bit. 90 gold each. Wow. It's quite a number. Well, we are a Be poor, seen. broke hero. Oh, that is a great time for a stunning adventure. Grand Ring of Firewalking. Must belong to Johnny Cash, I think. Um, bad joke. Shergarov's Regalia. Ring of Lordship. 
Sounds great. As I say, it's really been some time. I mean, I, play, I played this game last on what, what when was it? The December of 2030, I think. God, it's been really some time. Unbelievable. Okay, so we have some arrows. Basically, lots of them. We have some staffs, but I'm not going to use them. Oh, yeah, I remember that system. Uh, the, the typical the Elder Scrolls system, although the Elder Scrolls Online does not have that feature with uh, weights, but with the uh, basic inventory limits. Alright, let's try it out. Um, the hammers, repair hammers. Pickets charm. What? Ah, yeah, the uh, Mandagonian from uh, the Shivering Isles. And we can't repair none of these, which is absolutely great. Why not? Um, <laughs> why not? Oh, we have a level up. Which, which level are we actually at? Um, hmm, not bad. Well, obviously, let's say, um, we have played 144 episodes of Oblivion and we are at level 16. We have played 300 episodes of Skyrim and we're at level, oh god, I don't remember. Something about 30, maybe? So, yeah. Positive. Fly, is it go away? Stupid fly. Um, so let's rest a bit. Actually, resting is key to this mod. Let's just sleep. We had a tough day rescuing the world, so we can just uh, get a little sleep. And as I know, the mod, it is in the title, is a quad rebuild. And I love playing this mod, and I was quite surprised as I saw that this mod is still in development. I mean, it has been beta now for quite some time. Basically, as long as I can remember, you have ascended to level 17. Life is over. You can still get smarter or cleverer or more experienced or meaner, but your body and soul just aren't going to get any younger. Oh, that's quite true. We have max speed down. Oh, that explains a lot. Let's go for strength and willpower. I have totally forgot about uh, what we basically skill being. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was sword fighting, magic, not so much. At least I can remember that. Ability, intelligence, endurance, personality, speech is uh, maxed. Um, 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 what are you going to take? Um, 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 bows. Governments of skills of security, sneak marksman. No, not so much. Alchemy, conjuration, and mysticism. Uh, let's take endurance, and that's it. Alright. Alright. Another level up. Let's level up. Uh, um, <clears throat> let's level up another time. You have ascended to level 18. With a life, you've been living the punishment your body has taken. There are limits, and maybe you've reached them. Is this what it's like to grow old? Tell me, game. Let's do that. And let me guess. There's just another level up. Oh no! Actually not. Order of a Dragon, Champion of Sorority. That. Interesting. Could this be a actually a hint from what was to come after Oblivion? Because that logo, of course, is the logo of Skyrim. Could be a hint. That is actually quite interesting. Um, all right. So we have rested, which is great. I think we were keeping stuff in here, right? So let's throw in this thing, mad and mad and. Possibly we these and um, blueberry and yeah, just throw them in there and what else? His rope and some rings. Ale, I never throw ale away. Why should I? We have lots of potions. I'm never gonna use them. What well, actually I should handle that as I do in almost every other RPG let's play. Just all silver po uh, poisons and potions I will never use. Get some money and buy healing potions because that's basically what I do. But obviously not did in Oblivion, which is weird. But alright. Oh man, it's a great day. I think the first thing we're gonna do is travel to the Imperial City. Buy some potions. Healing potions, of course, because we're gonna need them. 
Do we? I don't know. I'm not pretty sure about the mod is um it re we are going to rebuild the city, so not much fighting, at least that I can remember of. Might be mm. still open, yeah. It's been some time. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, I remember I you, Claudia. Perfect. Yes, of course. Um, Take your time. A hundred. This person. Well, how? How you do we manage when you that? You need a good, strong potion. Best we to need stock some up money. Oh, come on. That's <laughs> All right, let's just do that. Potion of absorption. Nope. Never gonna use them. Oh, wow. Get some good money. Cure disease. Yes, I do keep those. Um, Just to be sure. Potion of fatigue. That reminds me I always pronounced certain words wrong in the first episodes of Oblivion. God, that's been some time. I also learned some skills of the English language because still That's I am a now idea. a native speaker of that language, so expect some uh, fails. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Uh, but no, no. Strong po poison of separation, Rain Magica. Let's do That's it. more than I'd usually. Strong pay. potion. Yeah, whatever. Fatigue, fatigue. Strong potion of grounding. Just wait for a moment. Uh, who's this chuck? Night eye. A good price. Respite. Sorcery. I'm not gonna use them. A f a f <clears throat> Cowardice, separation, sickness. Yeah, we have quite quite some actually. Your mercantile skill increase your level up. Oh, wow. <laughs> we and should have leveled up way earlier. We could have needed. Weak potion of healing, let's keep we have only one healing potion. Well, that was unexpected. In Skyrim, I have plenty, <laughs> but that was Skyrim. Skyrim was was basically sometimes a bit easier when Oblivion because of the uh, because of the change in the um, in the merchandising or how to um, you know the prices were adjusted and all those things were a bit different, a bit um, simplified in the end. Come on, just get rid of these. Uh, Have at it. <laughs> so basically, that the whole dead or hard restore health. Nah. The whole economic system was basically improved in Skyrim. At least that's my opinion because it was a lot that's of easier. And for players who haven't played Oblivion, then it, I think was um, easier to get used to it because Oblivion was at least in that respect way harder because you constantly were lacking That's healing potions and that could have been annoying and we knew that. We experienced that more than once. I recall the arena or certain boss fights which were challenging, let's put it like that. You like uh, against Lord you Vlindril. You got if you can remember. Oh god, there's been some times. Unbelievable, it's just so long since we've played Oblivion. And I mean, um, well, actually, it's kind of a reason why I'm doing this now. And it's not the first time that we are uh, revisit re uh, <clears throat> revisiting a game w in a modification uh, or via a modification. That's because we already had this with uh, Risen 1. Where we played a total conversion mod. I know there that are total it. conversions for Oblivion, like uh, Nirim, actually a by a deal. German developer. I know that there are such things, but I'm not quite into that. Or ba basically, I've tried it, and I don't know what it was, but I didn't quite enjoy it. Um. But after we have bought some stuff, I will explain more. Um, so let's have a look. Um, cure disease, no, 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 healing. Whew. That's some saucy prices, God. And only five. Oh, yeah, it's some expensive stuff. 
Oh, here we go. And that's all we can afford. Great. But I think it'll help, it'll help of course. Alright, um, so. There's Nirim, of course. Uh, I didn't quite like it because I don't know, actually, it's been way longer. It's been actually before the, the release of Skyrim that I've played Nirim. Um, sorry, I actually can't tell you. But there is an upcoming one um, called Enderel for uh, Skyrim. And the thing is, I'm not playing this because... Um, the other let's play on this very channel. If you don't, if you are a, a native English speaker, you um, might not know him. But if you're a German um, speaker and watch let's plays or other let's plays on that channel, you might know him. Um, he already called dips on Enderel, so with the total conversion for Skyrim. So did he call it dips? No, I actually was a lot. Uh, uh, it actually was like that because he said. It's coming out, and we want to do it. I said no because I had 300 episodes of Skyrim, and that was enough. So, it was his from all the beginning. All right. So, as you can see, the camp disappeared, and let's see where it moved. Of course, I know where it moved, but mm, I've played this mod a lot, and also until the end. But I thought you guys might also want to take a look at it. It's funny how he moves, it's switch back to first person. <laughs> but game's out for over nine years. That's crazy. We're playing a nine year old game and I never thought of it like that. You can see st you can still see our gate of oblivion hit the town and destroyed it basically. But we are here today to rebuild it and before we do and we just rest and wait because it looks much better or looks much better in daylight uh, mm, I said daylight not uh, br totally British weather mm. oh come on when it is why not we are going to wait during this let's play a lot so just go in. <laughs> because I have to say that waiting in this mod or during the modification is quite a big part. But I hope we can f uh, somehow fill this gap with some qu um, quests which are still remaining. So, um, who was I have to talk to? Hello. I have to start over from nothing. Where is? You're not alone. Was it you? No. Was it no? God, what was his name? It's my pleasure. You have nothing to say to me. Goodbye. I'm at your service. You have nothing to say. Greetings, traveler. What about you? Nope. Goodbye. Or was it you? No. You know, I saw your fight against. Great, the Grey Prince. My, my, my. Where is a car? What was his name? Um, the soldier who gave us his armor. So I don't think we still have it. No, we don't. Um, you know who I mean. The uh, main quest giver here in Quatch. Quatch. There's no castle right here. Oh, where's some eye? Oh, yeah, I remember, of course, there was another camp, and I think he should be here somewhere. That was so interesting. I've looked everywhere. Perhaps he's still in Kvach. In, in Sadly, Matthias, or something like that, exactly what was his name. Are you still alive? Oh, yes, you are. Sadly, and Matthias. My lord. I think it actually is fully uh, voice acted now. Take care. The time I played this mod the first time, it wasn't. I remember how to stop this quest. It was not by going here, it was by waiting till you get a letter to return to this very camp. So... The thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait till that happens and that on screen. So we're going to wait a few minutes or a few days in game to uh, get a letter which tells us to uh, go visit Savlian or Salvian or whatever his name was and talk about um, the 
or what he has in store for actually rebuild Quatch. And I think this is going to take us a week in game. I'm not sure about that. We got already, already arrested like three or four days. So it shouldn't take us that long for the letter to appear. Or actually, there's a servant coming and delivering us that letter. It's not magic magically appearing in our inventory, it's not like that. <laughs> but there is a sign that this mod is installed. Uh, installed, yeah, installed, right? Um, because the camp is here and not outside of, not outside of town, uh, that's, that's great. So as I already said, I'm quite impressed that um, this mod is still being worked on because I've seen a lot of modifications, also for Skyrim, which were just abandoned after a few months because of lack of time and something like that. But this project seems to be still active, which is quite impressive. Because it is a fan project, I don't think they have a lot of donations, so it takes quite some... It is in quite some effort to actually create something like this, so big respect to the team. I tip my hat for creating something like that because it takes a lot of time, as you could imagine. And the fact that there are voiceovers now is quite cool because with voiceovers everything's a bit better. <laughs> and the phone's ringing, that's uh, perfect. Alright, so. And how are we going to proceed with the waiting time in the um, ongoing Let's Play? So, that's the thing I have thought about. We could do some quests. God, can someone take the phone? <laughs> um, we could do some remaining quests because we still have some. We could also um, just skip this time, so I basically do it off screen, wait, wait till the servant arrives, take the letter and do a quest. And that's basically all the two op uh, options we have. <laughs> so either I'm going to do quests whilst it, or I'm just... Whoopsie. Or... <laughs> uh, my mouse is somehow stuck. Crap. <clears throat> or I just skip this time and do it off screen, so waiting time of a quest. And because I'm going to record a few episodes more in this um, session, so longer than one episode, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Oh, great. Um, so... That is actually a great, a, a great question, or a big question. Um... Oh! The servant has arrived! <laughs> there you are! You're tough to catch up with. I have a message from Savlion Matthias. He requests that you come see him as soon as you can. Ignat, what luck, who are? He's fast. <laughs> so, here's the one who's going to bring us all the letters. Which are leading us to Savlius. And let's read the letter. The note from Savlion Matthias. Ma Matthias. Is it that one? I think. To the hero of Quatch. For some time now, I have been wondering about the future of our great city. I believe now is the time for us to begin rebuilding our homes and our lives. I ask you to please come to our aid and yet again. I would like to speak with you as soon as possible. Please come and see me so we can start bringing Quatch back to its former glory. Sevillian Matthias. Quatch rebuilt sticks and stones. I read the note from Savlian Magius. He has plans to start rebuilding Quatch, but needs my help. I should go and see him and Quatch when I have the chance. All right. The quest. Let's do this. And he is right in here. I just can't sleep. Oof. I lie down and close my eyes, but I can't. It'll get better. Ah, there you are. Ignar told me to expect your arrival. As my letter stated. I would like help to begin rebuilding the city. I'm sorting some things out here for now, so I do not have the time to get the help we need. Can you help me? Yes, of course. Wonderful. What we need now are some masons and architects from Skingrad. Skingrad and Kvatch have some old ties that I think are important to hold on to in these... Trying times. I need you to head to Skingrad, speak with the Count, and ask him for some workers to aid our cause. I'm not sure if you've met the Count before, but he should at least be sympathetic to our cause, despite his condition. Go now. Bring the workers to me. My people are eager to begin. 
All right, let's go and visit the Qua uh, the, Qua <laughs> the Count of Skingran, the Quatch of <laughs> the Quatch of Skingran, whatever that is. All right, um, map, and let's go and visit him. We know of his circumstances. He actually is a vampire. Um. Just for uh, some people who might be watching this without having seen the main game or the main let's play of this very game, you should watch it because there might, might be some spoilers in here because of quests we're going to do, side quests or um, some stuff, so just be sure to have catched up or caught up in that. Let's go to the county hall at midnight, so you should be wide awake. Hello. Oh uh, no. So, you're the one who wanted to speak with the Count. Yes, exactly. Hmm. While rebuilding Quatch does sound like a very noble cause, I'm afraid the Count cannot be bothered right now. Ah, come on, the Count knows Although, me. Although, if you'd be willing to help me with the dinner the Count requested, I could pull a few strings. What do you say? Do I look like a chef to you? <sighs> what do you want me to do? Good. Here's what I need. I've ordered some goods from Smutius Entius, a farmer just outside of Skingrad. I need them for the Count's dinner, but he has yet to deliver them. Go to his farm and see if there is a problem. If there is, take care of it. Bring me the goods and I'll get you an audience with the Count. <sighs> we might as well do that. It means there are going to be some pl problems. <laughs> there are going to be some problems, handle them and you'll be good. Of course, that's always how it is. Nothing is as easy as it seems, of course. Not in a video game, obviously. By the way, now that I've played um, both Elder Scrolls Online and Skyrim, I think the names and how how the names actually are in this should probably get into armor. Um, I pretty much like the game. Uh, the game, yeah, also of the names of the characters in this game. Of course, you have quite some. Um, well, holy aura. Um, we have quite the other names in Skyrim, for example. But I like the name. Uh, I like the name. God, what's happening? I like the way the names are. What's going on? Uh, the names are in this very game. <laughs> Ouch! Sounds quite medieval. Didn't you say outside the city? The door to Skin Red. All right, let's have a look in here. I thought it was outside. Yes, we can't talk here. What? Too uh, public. Uh, uh, Meet uh, uh, um, uh, No time to talk. I. I Goodbye. Spare a coin for the wait a minute. I recall that in an episode, I think I was 28 weeks killed with Nutcase. Why is he still alive? This is the same save game I have used in the Let's Play, so he shouldn't actually, he should actually be dead and not walking around. Yes. He maybe is from Walking Dead, but that's something completely different. No, um, why well, should be dead? That is kind of a surprise. Why is he still alive? Uh. Ouch! Why do we hurt ourselves so much? Good morning. He doesn't bother with me. Just having his having my sword. Shit! All right. Let's go and ask a form of what Arnon, we have the entrance form Arnon needs. Samuti, Samutius, great name. Oh, we actually are alive, which is interesting. Yes, I'm Samutius Entius. What do you want? Well, if you ask me like that. Arnon sent me. Arnon, eh? Huh? We knew it was just a matter of time before he sent some messenger looking for his goods. I don't have them. Bunch of goblins came in the night, stole the goods. 
I tried to stop the filthy things, but they thought back, wounded my sword arm. Of course. They came from the north. There's a cave there. That's where they live. If you can get the goods from the cave, I'll give you a ring I found while fishing. Just as a thank you for avenging me. I don't care if you're a bloody ring. I just want the goods. 